Hello everyone and welcome to another video about DynamoDB indexes and in particular on this one I want to do a comparison between global and local secondary indexes. Okay, first of all let's see a quick comparison between global and local secondary indexes. Uh, the first um, feature that you want to compare is the key schema. Global secondary index can have simple or composite uh, keys, so you can have like just the partition key or partition key and sort key as well. The local one can have only a composite because it's gonna have the same partition key as the base table but different sort key. Key attributes. Uh, as we said, uh, on the global one, partition and sort key can be any attributes of the base table. Uh, whereas on the local one, you can have only a different sort key, but the partition key has to be the same as the base table. The size, the size of the um, global one, the global index doesn't have any limit, but the local one actually has a limit of 10 gigabyte for each partition key, for each item collection. Let's remember that an item collection is a collection of items with the same partition key. And next one is creation, when you, cre when you can create an index. So you can create a global uh, secondary index, both like on creation time of the table, or also when a table has been already created. Of course, if you are like doing that, like creating a global index when the table already exists, uh, keep in mind that it can take time depending on the table size. On the other hand, local indexes can only be created at creation time of the table. Next one, queries. So uh, for with the global indexes, you can query all across the table because basically you are replicating the table with different partition and sort key. Uh, on the local ones, you can query only a single partition, which is the one based on the partition key that you specify on the query. Uh, read consistency. So you know that DynamoDB has two read consistency, eventual consistency and strong consistency. Global indexes can only support eventual consistency by design. Uh, local indexes can support both of them. So eventual and strong consistency. Provision throughput. Uh, global indexes has its own provision throughput. So you have to pay for uh, additional read and write capacity units for the global indexes. Uh, on the other hand, local indexes have the same, they share the same read and write capacity with the base table. Projected attributes, uh, when you query a global index, you can only query the attributes that are projected into the index. On the other hand, local ones can actually fetch the missing attributes based on the item that you query. So now that we explore the um, key characteristic of uh, local and global secondary indexes, let's explore general guidelines and best practices on how to use them. First of all, you need to try to keep the number of indexes to the minimum. You don't need to create secondary indexes on attributes that you don't like query often and they're not queried by your access pattern. Uh, remember that every time you create an index, the index will be will influence and increase your storage cost, but also RSU and write SU costs. So as we said, indexes use uh, storage and provision throughput. So the idea is to keep the size of the index as small as possible. Let's make an example with the game scores table. We have a table with partition key, user ID and sort key game title. And let's say you want to add a new index on a new global secondary index on game title as partition key and top score as a sort key. So the idea here, here is based on the access pattern, decide which um, attributes we want to project on the index. Let's say we need top score date time or we need wins and losses. Um, remember that every time there is a write, so there is like a new item or an update on the item on the base table, DynamoDB has to update as well the GSI that we have just created. So it's very important to decide which attributes we need based on the access pattern and not uh, project the ones that are not needed. And also remember to project all of the attributes only if the query really needs all of them. This is crucial to improve both like storage and especially write capacity unit when you're gonna query the index itself. So now I made the example with the global secondary indexes, but 
these two best practices actually apply to local indexes. The first one is to avoid fetches. Uh, so fetches is when um, Dynamo has to fetch an item, the whole item usually, when you query uh, it happens when you query a uh, local secondary index and you require attributes that are not projected into the index. So let's say you have a local secondary index on uh, user ID, which is a partition key, and top score is a sort key, but your query also asks for the top score daytime. This is possible with a local index, but will uh, it will ask for more width capacity to Dynamo because it has to fetch the all item for you. Second one is to be aware of the item collection sites with local secondary index. Uh, remember the item collection is the collection of all the items with the same partition key. For example, here an item collection will be the first three items that we see here because they have the same user ID. The limit of the item collection on a local secondary index is up to 10 GB. Alright folks, I hope this uh, comparison between local and global indexes was useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments.